Hi, this is Kamesh. I work for IT Academy Data. In this video, I'll explain to you how to work with multi-valued parameters with SQL Server reporting services. To explain to you this concept, let me take you to the Business Intelligence Development Studio, and I'm using the same solution what I have actually used in the previous video. So, first of all, I'm going to create a new report, and I call this report as multi-valued parameter demo and I say OK. So what I what do I mean multi-valued? Let me to explain to that. For example, if you can see in my SQL Server, we know that um, in the previous video I used this table called as sales LT dot address. What's my plan here? I want to have a parameter uh, which is filled with the country regions and let the guy see the information country-wise and then I'll convert that to a multi-valued parameter concept. First of all, let me create a new data source. I'll be using AdventureWorks LT 2008 as my database name. I just type dot here which is my local system and I can test my connection. Everything is nice. Say so OK and OK. I'm ready with my data source. Let me go ahead and try to create a data set. I'm going to use a data set that is embedded in my report because I haven't gone for the shared data sources in this example. Let me select my existing connection which is data source 1. So what I'm trying to say here, select start from sales LT dot address where country region equal to et of country region. So we are creating a parameter here and I say OK. As soon as my data set is ready, you can now see we got a parameter called as country region. Now this country region parameter currently it is being shown as a text box. See for example, at this point of time, if I can drag and drop a table data region and from the report data, let's say uh, I've got country and then I've got state, uh, then I've got my city, I've got my postal code for example. Now if I say preview, so if I type the country name as let's say as Canada and uh, when I click on view report, it should actually show me the people from Canada. So that means the report is actually working. And uh, if I type uh, United States, so and that should actually be showing me some people from United States as well. Pretty nice. So the concept here, how do I know that's country name exactly the way it is in the database that is really tough and that's why I want to have a drop down list here filled with the country names. It should get me all the countries what I have in the table. So that's the time I need to have another data set and speaking to the same connection and then I'm trying to say select distinct of country region from sales LT dot address order by country region. So I have a new data set with me and that is actually getting me the country regions. So now I need to connect this data set with this parameter. I can simply double click on this parameter. I can say from the available values, get the values for this parameter from data set 2. Okay. And uh, what, what I would like to see in the drop down list is the field what I have selected here. The same is the value and the same is the label as well and say so okay. So we're almost done. Now if I take you to the preview, now I can see my country is coming like a drop down list. I can easily click on Canada, say view report. That's pretty nice. And if I change that to UK and say OK, OK, I got some people from UK as well. Pretty nice. So that's how I'm having currently a drop down, a parameter that is coming as a drop down list and that's helping me to uh, select people from different countries. Pretty nice. But what improvement I can do to this exercise? What if, if I wish to see the people of two different countries? Then I don't have any option because I'm able to see the people of only one country at a time. And that's where multi-valued parameters helps you. So what I need to do first of all in my data set, I said select start from sales LT dot address 
where country region equal to country region so that means uh, it will exactly work for one country now instead what i'll try to do i say where country region in in the parenthesis i take my parameter so in, in general how do we do that in tsql i would have said actually here you know uh, usa or uk or some spain you know whatever it is so this how this is how i would have done now instead of doing this by myself, now I can simply use my parameter as country region. So we're trying to say, so let's start from sales LT dot address where country reason in country reason, pretty nice. Now we will be able to select multiple countries. Let's see one more one more time. Uh, has it made any difference to my execution? Still, you know, it is actually working for only one state. So how do I make that as a multi-valued parameter is by double clicking on my parameter and simply click on this checkbox called as hello multiple values for this drop down let's say OK interestingly if I take you to the preview tab and now you can see I've got all my countries as checkboxes now if I click on Canada and if I click on United States and now if I just click outside somewhere here you can see it's Canada comma United States so basically this value gets sub substituted in that in operator and now if I click on view report you can see the people from United States as well as from Canada pretty nice if I click on select all and if I click on view report yes it shows me all the data of all the country people and you can switch to the next page or to the last page if I just switch to Canada for example that's how it shows me people from Canada only so that's how in this demonstration I've explained to you how to get a parameter with the drop down values first of all and then how did I convert that to a multi valued parameter. Thanks for watching this video. We hope this video is very informative to you. And if you wish to buy full length videos of uh, MSBI, please visit our website itacademy.in and we will be able to help you on that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye bye.